So same as for any other prob conditional probability problem, this is not going to make sense until you change the form into the intersection of both on top and the thing on the right on the bottom. Here probably if A is given, that's one half. That's really easy. B intersect A isn't given, so we ha kind of have to use the pieces of the puzzle to solve for it. One way it's useful to think about is that every piece that's given is usually used in the problem one way or another. So we already we we used A. How are we gonna find B intersect A with these pieces? Well, one thing that's gonna be helpful when you see this probability of A given B equals three fourths is to change that into a probability of A intersect B over probability of B. That's what A given B is. So we know that's three fourths. So we can see that how if we have one of these two, then we will get one more piece of information by calculating for the other. And here we do actually have B in sort of a hidden form here. We know B prime is three fourths. And we know any set plus its complement is always going to be one. This implies that probability of B is one fourth. So we can substitute one fourth over here. And we're gonna we can multiply both sides by one fourth. Cancel that out. So A intersect B is actually going to be 316. And this is going to be an important piece of information for, well, B intersect A and A intersect B is the same thing. So here we simply plug in 316. Divided by 2 is the same thing as times 2. And we do the math and it comes out to 3 eighths for the first part. Here again, first step for this part, change that to B intersect A prime over the probability of A prime. Again, the bottom is something easy. A, if A is one half, that just means that A prime is also one half. Quickly fill in one half here. B intersect A prime. That's not given yet, and we actually still haven't figured that out yet. And I'm going to use the Venn diagram to explain what this is actually going to be. Say we have A and B here. So first we need to know what B intersect A prime actually is on the Venn diagram. And another way to read this is B without the A, B intersect A prime. So it's going to be this area. And we want to know this area. This is not given, but we do know that A intersect B, this place here, is 316. And we also know that all of B is 1 fourth. So hopefully, you can deduce that this part is going to be 1 fourth minus 316. 1 fourth is 416, so this is going to leave 1 16. So this, this, this area here is going to be 1 fourth minus 416. Uh, minus 316. So that's 1 16. Again, divided by 2 is like times 2. Do the math, and that's going to come out to 1 8.